Hey dudes, it's P-Dubs, and after you complete the first 30 minutes opening scenes and tutorials on Hogwarts Legacy, you finally make your way to Hogwarts, and one of the first things you do is go to bed, wake up the next morning, and you have to go visit your common room. One thing I've noticed on social media is a lot of people are saying they haven't seen any footage yet online of what the Ravenclaw common room looks like, so that's what this video is going to be all about. Let's go ahead and launch the game. I was sorted into Ravenclaw which is really cool because it's uh, one of my favorite classes from the books as well as from the movies. As you can see, you wake up the next day in your dormitory. Let's just take a look around here at all just the incredible design of this game. I'm very, very impressed. You really feel like you're in Hogwarts from the movies. Although this does take place, I think the story is in 1890 before... Uh, but before, obviously, the, the events that happened in the original movies and books. Gotta love all the details put in. We have our moving pictures on the walls. We got Appleby arrows. We got some Ravenclaw Quidditch players. All kinds of books. But it says we have to find our common room. Let's head on down. We got a mirror here, which is kind of funny. It's pretty dirty and gross. Let's see if we can find it. Looks like we have to go upstairs to our common room. We have some knights over there. Looks like our common room is right in there, but before we go in the common room, let's check this out. I'm not sure this is the right spot. Mm, that's not right either. I'd like to retire to a small hamlet when I'm older. One just like Brockborough. Have you ever visited any of the hamlets outside of Brockborough? All right. Deep breath. All right, just taking my time going through here for you guys so you guys get a good look at the Ravenclaw areas. We're going to talk to these two characters and then we're going to head into, I believe, the other room. All right. Deep breath. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Oh man, I gotta tell you, this game is just adorable, especially if you're a big fan of the Harry Potter games. Let's go talk to this girl over here, and then we'll make our way into the next area. Samantha Dale. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. 
great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cosy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Okay, let's head into the next room and check it out. the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb. And I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Hey there, Lou Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. All right, let's take a look at this room. It's that new fifth year. I wonder where they're from. I can't imagine starting a new school this late. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. 
Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste, you've classes to attend. opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Thank you. 
And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. And as you can see, that was the opening common room scenes of Ravenclaw. Time for the adventure to continue.